Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Kringle Fall Reserve Line Haul. Now, full disclosure, these were not sent to me as PR. However, I did participate in the Kringle Ambassador pre-order, so I did receive these candles at a discount, but I still did pay for these candles. And as a reviewer, I am here to share with you my thoughts. Now, these did launch about a week ago. I just haven't had time to really sit down and film the video. It's been a crazy end of the month and beginning of the month for me, but I am here to share with you guys my thoughts. And as I'm filming this video, these are all still available to purchase. Kringle has really stepped up the game in their manufacturing process. There are all seven candles still available. They retail for $34, but as always, you can use my ambassador discount code, which is DrewYock15 to save yourself 15%. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have said multiple times that the Kringle Reserve line is my favorite line of candles that Kringle makes. I love the black jars. They recently have changed to this like translucent jar. So as the flame burns, you can actually see the flame through the jar, which I just adore rather than the solid black because the ambiance of a candle is what we all love so much. The fragrance, the label, and the ambiance, it's a whole vibe, right? So being able to see the flame through the jar, 10 out of 10. Anyway, these are the fall reserve lines. The first one we have here is gilded leaves. So we have, as always, a solid black background. And then we have three gold leaves right there. And the description reads, an elegant fragrance for fall with notes of autumn leaf and glistening golden amber. Elevated nuances of tobacco leaf, fresh hoon, hoon, cedar, and patchouli add a grounding woody facet, while fresh mountain laurel, berry bitters, vanilla musk, and sandalwood complete the fragrance with a signature twist. This is so pretty. This is for the fresh lovers. If you like a fresh scent, but twisted for fall, this is it. I immediately, I am really getting the mid notes. The tobacco leaf, the cedar wood, the patchouli, it's fresh, it's a little bit herbal, and that woody notes are really captured right there in the mid. The amber, berries, sandalwood, and vanilla, they're all transporting this to lean the slightest bit perfumey, like body care, but very fall edition. It is beautiful. If you like cedarwood, if you like those woodsy, warm, sophisticated fragrances, this is beautiful. I think this would be a beautiful bedroom fragrance, to be honest, because it's comforting and calming without being overwhelming or super woody. I really like this. The label's beautiful. This would be such a pretty jar to use as a vase when it's done. I just, I love it. It is a stunning, stunning candle. Next, we have Royal Cherries. Now, I was debating on purchasing this one because I'm not the biggest fan of cherry fragrances. The notes read, lush, juicy royal cherries and sweet pineapple are enhanced with subtle summer roses and creamy notes of musk, sandalwood, and caramel. So it's an interesting choice for fall. It even says summer roses in the name. This is very fascinating. It leans, and I agree with Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, when she says it smells a little bit like a like cherry perfume, like a perfumey cherry. This does not smell medicinal at all, nor does it smell like candy. This, to be honest, I'm getting a lot of pineapple and cherry together. It's definitely not 100% cherry. I'm getting the extremely sweet juicy pineapple mixed with the fruity cherry. I think the musk, the sandalwood, and the caramel are just blending and rounding out the fragrance so it's not super sharp and almost mellows out the medicinal cherry. I really like this. This is definitely going to be saved for the spring and summer months though for me. And the Kringle soy candles last. Like you can store these. They're all white wax and I think they burn, well, obviously they burn beautifully, but even storing them for like a year, they still last a long time. So I'm going to tuck this one away for the spring and summer months, and I think this will be a nice, fun, fruity scent for those warmer months. Next, oh, 
Okay, we have pumpkin buns. This has to be the cutest label I've seen in a while. They literally look like little squishy pumpkins, but they look like they're like bread, if you can see that. Let's get a little up close. Do you see that? They look like little pumpkin bread with the salt on there. So cute. Now, the notes read, creamy pumpkin and harvest fruits blend to perfection. Fall spices of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and clove are followed by warm vanilla, caramel, and maple syrup for a perfect fall treat. We've got a lot going on here. Wow. Okay. This is so interesting. I was initially expecting this to be like a cinnamon bun, but emphasis on the pumpkin pie spices. It leans more pretzel to me. And the notes don't really indicate that, but this smells like a pretzel. Like a soft pretzel with caramel and maple syrup. I'm definitely getting the sweet sticky caramel and that sweet maple syrup. With the spices, like you're getting those spices, but to me, it smells like it's on like a yeasty pretzel base. It's very interesting. It's more savory than sweet. When I was thinking pumpkin buns, again, I was thinking like a sweet bun. But to me, this definitely leans more towards savory. Again, an amazing kitchen candle. If you want that savory, that salty, that sweet little bit of... I don't want to say cloying because that's like a turnoff, but that very sweet maple syrup on a savory scent, it's so good. I'm really impressed with this. I think this will be really fun in the kitchen. So that is pumpkin buns. Sticking with pumpkin, we are going to do great pumpkin. <gasps> this is my favorite label. This, eh, they're so hard. Listen, I have a least favorite label, but this is super fun. So great pumpkin reads... As autumn leaves paint the landscape in warm hues, immerse yourself in the heartwarming aroma of spiced pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger root. The sweet embrace of toffee and vanilla adds a touch of fall decadence, creating an inviting atmosphere that captures the essence of cozy evenings by the fire. This is the ultimate pumpkin. The ultimate pumpkin. It's sweet. It's everything you want. Pumpkin, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, toffee, vanilla. So you have the sweet candy-like of the toffee and the vanilla. You have the warm cinnamon, the nutmeg. This is what I wish, like, pumpkin patch candles smelled like. I want a pumpkin candle. I don't want a cinnamon spice candle. And this is the ultimate pumpkin candle. It still has the cinnamon spice it has the nutmeg. I'm not picking up a lot of the ginger. It's the warm cinnamon, the warm nutmeg, not the cinnamon spice like a craft store, if that makes any sense. And this, this I think is a great fall gift candle, a great Halloween gift candle, a great candle to burn with company if they're coming over and they're expecting, oh, your house smells like fall. This is a candle where I think your house would smell like fall. Now, I want to point out it might not be super easy to see. This wax is a little bit yellow. No, it's not dyed that way. I think it's just because the oils are so rich, the toffee, the vanilla, the pumpkin, that I think when this burns, it's going to be super strong because you have all that warm vanilla fragrance oils. I love this. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. This is such a fun pumpkin. I'm so excited to burn that this fall. Now, a label that I'm not as... I don't know. I'm not as intrigued by is Radiant Apple. However, I have heard this scent is out of this world. Look at the label, though. It's like this blue. It kind of looks like it's been in that, like, filter of, like, the blue backlight. Now, this is super interesting. Embrace the cozy charm of autumn with the inviting essence of blue permane apple, ruby red grapefruit, and lemon zest. A comforting blend of blue raspberry and bitter verbena adds a touch of fall warmth, finishing with cane sugar and white woods for a fragrant journey reminiscent of a crisp sunlit fall day in the orchard. Blue permane apple. Let me look that up. A pear-shaped apple with a firm white flesh. Okay, so it's a uh, more crisp apple. This is so pretty, though. This is so good. You totally get apple and verbena, which is interesting to me. 
I remember L'Occitane has a Verbena shower gel. If you want a shower gel that will make you feel awake in the morning, you can't sleep or you have trouble sleeping at night and you just want a wake you up scent to use in the shower, use a shower gel that has Verbena in it. That is like a citrus plant that just wakes you up. And that mixed with the lemon zest and the grapefruit is a total wake you up scent. And then you have that crisp apple right there in the end. Really interesting. As far as cane sugar, white woods, and all of that, blue raspberry. Yeah, I can see the blue raspberry. It's like playing off the verbena and the citrus. Because verbena, citrus has that zing citrus pop. Blue raspberry also has a pop. But they're a little bit different zing, if that makes any sense. Blue raspberry is more of like a candy zing. If I close my eyes and I think about both, I could easily get both. I could vibe with both, I should say. This is really nice. If you like an apple scent, but you're like, I've had all the apples I've wanted, I want to change it up, this is great. I do agree, though. This and the royal cherries, in my opinion, smell more like spring-summer fragrances than fall. So I know a lot of people are talking about this and burning this now. I am going to tuck this away for the spring and summer, because I think this will be a perfect scent with all those citruses and the blue raspberry mixed with the apple for spring and summer. Now, this little baby is not getting a lot of love right now, and this is red maple. We just have a bright red maple leaf on the label here. And this says, walk into the fall essence of sparkling orange and jasmine, feel the texture of red maple leaves under your feet while enjoying woody notes of cedar and fir wrapped in cozy saffron, amber, and vanilla filling the crisp air. Now, in the notes, there's a mid-note called ambergris, which Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom mentioned is in Montemore. It's one of the main notes in Baccarat Rouge 540, and it has a very, like, skin-like scent to it. Now, she said this scent is a lot of that, more than the Mon Amour, and it's almost overwhelming to her. I can see that. I can see where this, in a lot of dose, is overwhelming. I can see where stinky feet come into play. I can. I can see... It's funny how it says, feel the texture of red maple leaves under your feet. It's almost like the feet are in the scent. It is very, like, wet leaves. It's not my favorite. It's definitely my least favorite out of all of them. However, I don't hate it. I think when it's burning, it might change. Not sure. You definitely get that amber green note. I love saffron and fragrances. I love cedarwood and fragrances. So I was excited for this. But I don't hate it as much as some other people do. But I do not love it. If you like those earthy, outdoorsy fragrances, but you want it dirty, like emphasis on the dirty, like you truly have the windows open and it smells like there's muddy leaves outside, pick this up. The more I smell it, the more I don't hate it, but I don't love it, if that makes sense. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Definitely an interesting fragrance, Red Maple. And honestly, I picked it up just to complete the collection, but also because I was very intrigued by it. Now, another one. This might be my favorite. Santal and Pumpkin. One, I love a white pumpkin. I think this label... I think this is the most beautiful candle label I have seen for the fall. It's a simple white pumpkin, solid black background, Santal and pumpkin. The notes read, Sweet pumpkin puree meets a rich Santal accord, and the glowing vanilla amber and sheer sophisticated patchouli is captivating. So we have Santal, which is like sandalwood, pumpkin puree, vanilla amber, patchouli, white leather, Caramel, nutmeg, and clove. Those are all of the notes. I love this. I love this. I would wear this as a personal fragrance. This is beautiful. This, when I smell this, I always said I wish there was a pumpkin fragrance that wasn't like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffles, marshmallow pumpkin latte, any like Bath and Body Works like pumpkin body care. Like that's... 
how do I say it? Like a pumpkin cologne, almost. Like, you're making a fragrance for fall that you do want to showcase the pumpkin, but the main thing is not pumpkin. This is so pretty. I totally get white leather and sandalwood. Absolutely. And white leather. This is clean leather. This is fresh leather. This is not dirty belt. This is not, like, horse saddle. This is, like, a fresh pair of shoes, but, like, out of the box, $1,000 shoes. Like, really sophisticated leather. Fresh sandalwood and a sweet pumpkin vanilla. I know those sound like notes that should never go together, but it is so fun, so different. I love this. If you want a different fall fragrance, if you want a different fall pumpkin fragrance, and you're not afraid to go outside of the box, Santolin Pumpkin is totally it. This, again, is a bedroom fragrance for me because it's sexy. That leather and that sandalwood mixed with the pumpkin is sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I would honestly get myself another one of these. I love it so much. This is so nice. And I love the label. <sighs> so different, yeah. So really impressed. Again, if I had to pick recommendations for my top three, Santal and Pumpkin, The Great Pumpkin, and... I'm going with Gilded Leaves. I love. Those are my top three. I like Radiant Apple and Royal Cherries, but I'm saving those for the spring and summer. Red Maple is just odd. <laughs> and Pumpkin Buns is good. Just, I was expecting it to be a little bit more sweet than it is savory, but still a great fragrance. These could all change on warm. Definitely stay tuned to my empties videos when I do finish these, my final thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date next time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you. Bye, guys.